from MTN and MontanaSports.com. This is Sunday Night Sports. Yeah, welcome to Sunday Sports. Tom Wiley in for Casey Conlon in Great Falls year-end titles on the line of the Montana Circuit Finals. Several events came down to the final rides at the Four Seasons Arena. The bright lights shining on our contestants on Championship Saturday in Great Falls. We will start in the bareback. Jesse Davis of Power won the go rounds Friday and Saturday night, trying to lock up the average, but struggles to a 76 on Sunday. That'll leave the door open for Belgrade's Wyatt Bloom. How about an 85 on Sundance Kid to lock up the average by just one point over Davis? Meanwhile, Dylan's Tristan Hansen goes 87 to split the go round win and lock up the year end title for second straight year punching his ticket to Florida in team roping anybody's rodeo to win here Radley Day and Taylor Williams well they came in leading the average and they managed just a 7.2 second run on Sunday but that's going to be enough to claim the aggregate and clinch a trip to the national circuit finals to steer wrestling we go Ty Erickson putting on a show through two rounds this weekend but Augusta's Ross Mosier puts the pressure on him 4.2 seconds for the former Argo wrestler to jump to the lead in the average. Erickson needs a solid run, but he settles for spectacular. 3.7 seconds to win his third straight go-round check and lock up the year-end and average titles. The world champ starting his 2020 off right. To Saddle Bronc we go. Former world champion Jesse Cruz rebounds from an off night with a ride of 80 and a half points. He'll finish second in the average but locks up his third consecutive year-end title. Joining Cruz in Florida will be Miles City's Houston Brown who goes 79 for a third straight performance. Solid weekend gives him 237 points on three head for the aggregate title. In tie-down roping, world champ Haven Medjid of Miles City with the best time on two coming in here. Looks like he locks up a second consecutive title with a 9.2 second ride, but look at this. The steer will kick out, so that's a no time and drops him out of the running. But another rookie would capitalize. Bryce Bott of Manhattan wins the go-round. That's an 8.9 second run. Didn't flinch and he rose to the occasion when it mattered most. Meanwhile, Harden's Trevin Bauman wins the average with 30.5 on three. Molt Montana's Hank Hollenbeck wins his fifth all-around title in the last six years with a good showing in tie-down and steer wrestling. Let's go to Barrels. Lindsay Cruz, well, she'll join her husband Jesse in Florida. Had a huge lead coming into this rodeo and clinches the year-end circuit title with a couple of checks. The Four Seasons Arena has been pretty good for Tara Stimson of Lodgegrass. She goes 13.2 to split second in the go-round and win first in the aggregate. We had some drama in bull riding. Browning's Dakota Lewis, the only cowboy to cover two bulls coming in. Any score here would lock up the title, but he is bucked in the championship round, and that leaves the door open for young Connor Mernian of Jordan, who delivers the ride of his life. 86 and a half points, best mark of the rodeo. His family cannot believe it. Mernian will join year-end champ Peyton Fitzpatrick of Polson at the Ram National Circuit Finals in April. Congratulations and good luck to all of our circuit champions.